Hey, this is Matt from Investiquant. Today is Monday, November 20, 2023. The markets finished the week overbought with the RSI reading on the two-day RSI that was above 95. We're going to take a look at a study based upon that this morning. Let me go ahead and get it set up using all four instruments or setups based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, we're trading higher in the overnight session. So from the opening filters, I'm clicking on gap up. Then I'm going to the indicators library, and I'm going to grab day after two-day RSI above 95. That's an overbought reading from the act of today. I've just clicked on that. The next thing I'm going to do is put us in a similar market environment. We closed above a 10 and above a 200-day simple moving average. I've grabbed both of those. And lastly, in the calendar library, I'm going to say that today is Monday. I just hit equals next to it, and we've got all of that information added. Now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when gapping up on a Monday in a bullish market environment that has triggered a two-day RSI above 95. Historically, 36 samples here in the S&P. We've got 50 in the NASDAQ, 49 in the Dow, 33 in the Russell. Win rates coming in a bit mixed. S&P and Dow both pretty weak. S&P, 31% of those closing above the opening print. NASDAQ, it's 52%. Dow, 39%. Russell, 58%. If we take a look at the average uh, moves, the average move to the upside is larger in the S&P. Uh, for the NASDAQ, it's the average move to the downside that is larger. For the Dow, it's the average move to the upside, and that's the same for the Russell. So three of the four have larger average moves to the upside. Win rates are mixed, uh, two of them weak, S&P being the weakest, Russell being the strongest. So a bit mixed here on the results. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We will see you next time.